What is wisdom and why should we strive to acquire it? These questions have been asked by philosophers, poets and scholars throughout the generations, yet the essence of wisdom remains something elusive, almost mystical. It's more than just knowledge or intelligence. It's an inherent understanding of life's complexities, a discerning heart, a guiding light in a world often shrouded in darkness. Let's take a moment to consider the profound words of Proverbs chapter 5. The first two verses extol the virtues of wisdom, urging us to listen, to gain understanding. You see, wisdom is not just about knowing what is right, but also about understanding the implications of our decisions. It's about the ability to discern right from wrong, to navigate the tumbling waves of life with grace and integrity. So. Why should we strive to acquire wisdom? Because in the grand tapestry of life, wisdom is our compass, guiding us towards a path of righteousness. Remember, wisdom is a shelter as money is a shelter. But the advantage of knowledge is this. Wisdom preserves those who have it. What warnings does Proverbs chapter 5 hold for us? As we delve into the heart of this chapter, verses 3 to 14, we find a stern warning against the perils of adultery. The text uses vivid imagery to underline the destructive consequences of immorality. It's an age-old cautionary tale that is as relevant today as it was when it was first penned. The verses paint a stark picture. They describe the lips of an adulteress as dripping honey and her speech smoother than oil. But as we delve deeper, we find that her end is as bitter as wormwood and sharp as a double-edged sword. This stark contrast serves as a powerful metaphor, illustrating that while the allure of immorality might seem sweet and enticing in the moment, its ultimate outcome is bitter and destructive. The chapter goes on to warn that the feet of the adulteress lead down to death, her steps leading directly to the grave. This grim depiction underlines the dire consequences of immoral actions, painting a vivid picture of the path to ruin. But let's take a step back. Proverbs chapter 5 isn't just a sermon against physical infidelity. It's a broader lesson about the dangers of any decision that compromises our integrity and moral values. It serves as a stark reminder that giving in to momentary temptations can lead to long-term regret and ruin. When we compromise our principles for fleeting pleasure or momentary gain, we risk losing far more in the long run. We end up trading our integrity for immediate gratification, a deal that leaves us empty and unfulfilled. This chapter of Proverbs teaches us that the path of wisdom involves recognizing these dangers and resisting the pull of temptation. It encourages us to uphold our moral values even when faced with enticing alternatives. In essence, Proverbs chapter 5 calls us to live with integrity, to make wise decisions that align with our values, and to resist the allure of the easy path that leads to destruction. As these verses illustrate, any decision that compromises our integrity can lead to regret and ruin. What does Proverbs chapter 5 teach us about faithfulness? It presents us with a vivid image of drinking water from one's own well or cistern. This metaphor symbolizes the importance of finding satisfaction within one's own relationship, of being faithful and loyal to one's partner. It suggests that we should not look elsewhere for fulfillment, but rather find joy and contentment within the relationship we've committed to. The chapter continues to emphasize this concept by advising us to rejoice in the wife of our youth, to find delight in her love. This again underscores the value of loyalty and commitment in personal relationships. It encourages us to cherish the bond we have, to nurture it, and to find pleasure in it. In essence, Proverbs chapter 5 encourages us to cherish and take pleasure in the relationships we have, rather than seeking satisfaction elsewhere. This is a powerful reminder of the importance of faithfulness in our lives. What are the consequences of unwise choices, according to Proverbs chapter 5? This chapter ends with a stark warning delivered through verses 20 to 23. These verses serve as a powerful reminder that our actions are never invisible. They're seen, noted, and they carry consequences. The choices we make, wise or unwise, bind us like chains. The book of Proverbs uses the metaphor of a man being caught in the cords of his own sin, illustrating the idea that we are accountable for our actions. 
We can't escape the consequences of our own choices. It's an unerring law of life that our actions determine our future. This chapter teaches us that unwise choices lead to unnecessary pain and suffering. It's a poignant reminder to think before we act, to weigh our decisions carefully and to consider the potential consequences. In conclusion, Proverbs chapter 5 teaches us the importance of wisdom, the dangers of immorality, the value of faithfulness and the consequences of our choices. Let these teachings guide your life choices.